Good morning, everybody. Welcome to announcements this Friday, February 10th. It's an A slash B day. And we have our recorded announcements as per usual on Fridays. I'm joined by one special guest today. But before we get to that, we'll do our Pledge of Allegiance and then I'll let them take it away. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, guest speaker, one of one. Take it away. El 16 de febrero tendremos nuestro evento Café y Corazones en el cuarto 145 después de la escuela. Ven a tener un poco de café y practicar tu español. Y no sabes español, no te preocupes. Tendremos frases y palabras básicas disponibles para ayudar. Todos son bienvenidos y esperamos verte allí. And that is on February 16th, we will have our Café y Corazones event in room 145 after school. You can come have some coffee and practice your Spanish. And if you don't know Spanish, that's okay. We will have basic phrases and words available to help you. All are welcome, and we hope to see you there. Thank you. You didn't introduce yourself, though. Oh, okay, sorry. My name is Cadence, and I'm the president of the Maiz Club. Thank you. All right. Here are your other announcements. And I'm combining Thursdays and Fridays pretty quickly and succinctly. Take Charge is taking place going to Des Moines uh, so that they can actually meet with folks on the Capitol. If you're interested, stop by room 116 at the end of the day today. Map testing will be taking place for our 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. It'll be held next week, Wednesday and Thursday. There will be a two hour delay schedule for those days. So for all our seniors, you know, there's a two hour delay schedule next week, Wednesday and Thursday. Make sure to bring a charged Chromebook, otherwise you're gonna have a really tough time. More information will be discussed in homeroom this week. So I guess later this hour. National School Counseling Week is taking place right now. It's the first full week in February. 2023 theme is school counselors, helping students dream big. Our counselors are experts at helping students dream big and achieve great things. So please be sure to thank Washington's counseling team for the very hard work that they do. That would be Ms. Byers, Ms. Mangrich, Ms. Ripple, Ms. Waters, and Ms. Young. Forest Drive Cafe is offering 50% off of any drink if we get to 100 followers by the end of this week. So all you have to do is follow and show that you follow Forest Drive Cafe on Instagram to get that discount. Remember, they have a Valentine's Day drink all month, so stop in and see what's new in the cafe. Spring Sports. If you're interested in participating in Spring Sports, make sure you get signed up online. Track starts on the 20th of February, soccer, tennis, and golf. All start on March 13th. And if you have any questions, stop by the activities office. Maiz has already had their announcement for their Cafe y Cor Corazones. Um, and that'll be taking place real soon. So feel free to rewind if you want to hear that announcement again. Uh, the next one's about Valentine's Day. Spreading the love for Valentine's Day can be as simple as sending a crush for your crush. The junior class will be selling cans of crush that will be delivered to your crush or friend of your choosing with a special message on Valentine's Day, which is February 14th. Sales will be occurring during lunches starting today and running through Monday. <coughs> As a new scholarship for the Greater Cedar Rapids Community Scholarship Foundation, and they've been added to senior class Google Classroom that are specific to our students. Apps are due by the 15th. And if you have any questions, see Ms. Mangridge or Ms. Byers in the counseling office. Senate is partnering with United Way to host their charity challenge that will happen from the 6th through the 17th, so we're halfway home. United Way is a, non, is a nonprofit organization that fights for health, education, and financial stability for all people in our communities. If you can bring in one can or one dollar, you'll receive a raffle ticket to win four, one of four $50 gift certificates. And if you bring in three cans, it's three, and the list goes on and on. Our ultimate goal is to raise 100 I'm sorry, $1,100 or $1,100 and 850 cans of food. And if our school reaches both of those donation goals, we'll have a pep assembly to commemorate the occasion the week after spring break. Uh, I have birthdays. Ooh, I got plenty of birthdays. And then, uh, and I got some other ones here. Let me finish up. Girls tennis players, if you're interested in playing for WASH, they're having a meeting in early March. All levels of uh, experience are welcome. Uh, scholarship workshop will be taking place on the 8th and 9th 
Uh, that already took place. So see your counselors if you want some help with scholarships because the scholarship workshop sessions were kind of canceled. Uh, Valentine's Day, we've talked about spreading the love for your crush already. So our last ones now come to birthdays. On Thursday, we had Mr. Ben McMullen and Dr. S, Dr. Smokovic. Uh, their birthdays were on Thursday. Our Friday birthdays are Rose Dumas, Andy Walsh, Diego Ramundo. Uh, we have we weekend birthdays, which are Nick Riesinger, Imani Cardine, Natalie Ostenberg, um, Aiden Robinson, and Stefan Franklin. And we have no staff birthdays on the weekend or today. Last one I should probably read is about the speech team. So speech team hosted their successful state large group contest on Saturday. Oh, that's last week. Thousands of people came, 400 performances throughout the day. And we had a huge success. 18 performing groups at state is huge. 17 groups took in a division one rating, which is the highest you can get. One group took home a division two. Uh, and we we're so proud of the work that everyone put in. Building on that success, seven groups are even nominated for all state this year in Ames. That's like the, like the, the state tournament for, for speech. Of them, six groups will even perform and they'll see if they can bring home the actual state banner. So it's like a state championship. Our groups are the one act play, the one act play that goes wrong. We have an ensemble acting called The Falling Man, which will be also, I think, performed for you on Monday. We've got a solo mine, which is called Photographic Memory. Another solo mine, which is Bye Bye Birdie. I got to see that one. Radio broadcasting, which is RHOC, and a short film, Things Will Grow. And then we also have the musical theater, Birds of Paradise, but that's a non-performing nomination. If you'd like to go on the All-State trip, you can talk to Tink or Sheets for more info. info. Um, but it's pretty big, people. Like, that's a lot going to state. Um, it's pretty big. All right. Last little bit here. Food. You got the barbecue sandwich on a bun. You got the walking taco, the cheese pizza, the pepperoni pizza, and the chef's salad with sides, including fresh apple slices, diced pears, fresh tomatoes, and side salad. That concludes your announcements. Enjoy this weekend. Um, stay warm. And uh, we'll see you all on Monday for our next assembly. Remember, it's always a great day to be a warrior. See ya.